hi guys welcome to brains on the beat if you're new here please like comment share and subscribe and if you're already but goody thank you for staying tuned to your girl so in today's video we're going to be talking about a guy that have been implicated in his own dad's murder let's get into the story the police have charged a young man Kemar Mar Marsden with the murder in relation to the death of attorney Garrett Forbes who was shot dead inside his St. Andrew home on January 17th. He was officially charged with murder on Saturday. A representative of the Corporate Communications Unit of Jamaica Constabulary Force told Loop News that reporter Claude Mills of Marsden the accused who was taken into custody after reportedly placing a hit on his own father, a well-known Kingston businessman, it is also facing the possibility of being charged with conspiracy to commit murder. It was reported that cops acting quickly on intelligence received intercepted a hit last week and discovered evidence that pointed to who allegedly commissioned the hit on the businessman. The police source told Loop News that once the cops held the gunman, they found incriminated voice notes in his phone, which led them to the detention of the man who allegedly instigated the hit. While confirming that the young Mars Marsden has been charged with Forbes' murder, no details on the investigation into the offense was forthcoming from the police. Forbes, 49, resided in Oak Ridge, Stillwell Road in Kingston 8 area. Reports from the Constant Spring Police short is shortly after the murder was committed, where that about 10 p.m. a relative found Forbes unresponsive in his home. The authorities were summoned. On the arrival of the law enforcers, the attorney's body was seen lying in a pool of blood with several gunshot wounds. The crime scene was processed and the body removed to the morgue. On Febru February 5th, the St. Andrew North Police issued photos of two suspects in relation to the lawyer's murder. The investigators theorized that the suspects, a man and a woman, stole the attorney's bank card and went to an automated teller machine ATM. The photos were of the man and woman inside the machine. The police then appealed to the public's assistance to locate the individuals. So this guy, Marsden, have been implicated in his own father's death, which is very unfortunate. And not only that, it's alleged that the phone that they took from the person that was supposed to um, commit another hit on another businessman uh, found that he had the same Marsden guy put out another hit on a businessman. I don't know why he's putting out a hit on businessmen, especially his dad. I guess because his dad we didn't want to give up his business so he can run it. He wanted insurance money. Like the list goes on of possibilities of why he put out a hit on his dad. But to put out a hit on another businessman. Normally in Jamaica, it's alleged that they say if another business is doing better than you, that's what you do to kill the competition. You literally kill the competition. And that's why Hubby was trying to do a business in there. And that's why he actually didn't go through with it. But honestly i was talking to hubby um the other day about your kids and when you think you're doing the right thing as far as your kids are concerned and you never really know what they can do to you and you never really know that they can be the person that is going to be your killer for trivial stuff whether it's money whether it's businesses whether it's life insurance is very sad and disheartening but i'm happy that they caught who is responsible and i'm sure he's going to be implicated in a lot more murders because they actually had the man that commit the hit phone with incriminating evidence against him so comment what your thoughts are in the comment section can you imagine your son or your daughter being your killer like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Deuces.